What's up, everybody? My name is Hardy, and this is WWE Shows Reviews 5. What's up, Army? I am here with my Monday Night Raw review for this week. Um, it was so I'm a bit late for this review, but it's alright. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that I, mi I missed actually the 10 15 minutes of the segment, first segment of the night, which was with CM Punk, AJ, and Daniel Bryan. But I came in when I heard that awesome noise. <laughs> GM, the anonymous Raw general manager, um, uh, makes his return. So does Michael Cole. And um, Michael Cole is just um, saying that the main event of tonight, Raw, will be Daniel Bryan. Yes. 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 And my girlfriend, Eve. Versus CM Punk and the crazy chick AJ. So yeah, that's what he put out for the main event. So then we have first match of the night, which is Sheamus versus Jack Swagger. This was pretty much a squash match for Sheamus. Uh, Jack Swagger just has nothing going for him. Poor guy, he has nothing going for him. And he needs to be used to his full potential. But he's not being used by WWE. So... They just put him in a squash match against Sheamus, and Sheamus wins with a bro kick. And I rate that match a 3 out of 5 stars match. And then we have um, a backstage segment between Santino and Zack Ryder. Santino is just congratulating Zack Ryder for the battle royal that they uh, that he won on SmackDown. Or Zack Down, as Zack Ryder calls it. And um, Santino just says he's going to find the anonymous general manager tonight. And then we have a match between Tyson Kidd and Christian. Uh, versus the show-off, Dolph Ziggler, and Tensai. Uh, great match. Um, Tyson Kidd, all these four competitors, except for Tensai, have been impressing me. Tyson Kidd, Christian, and the show-off. As usual, show-off always has to impress me. He's a great um, talent, and he's getting used now properly. Christian just is an all-round technician. He's a one-man band, pretty much. He's not Heath Slater, but he's just he can do anything. Uh, and Tyson Kidd's just getting the push of his life. And that's great that a young talent like Tyson Kidd is getting pushed. But not Justin Gabriel. Justin Gabriel doesn't want to get pushed. Yeah, blah, blah, I'm WWE. I don't want to push bloody Justin Gabriel. So, yeah, um, I'm happy that at least uh, Tyson Kidd's getting pushed. He's tag team partner. So that's good enough. Um, then we have Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler. They're just arguing on who they think that should be the GM. And then accidentally, Michael Cole like slaps um, a drink that Jerry Lawler was drinking. And it just spills onto Jerry Lawler's t-shirt. And he gets angry and then... Da -da 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 -da, uh, comes up again. And he says that... The general manager says that... Uh, Jerry Lawler's going to have a WrestleMania rematch against Michael Cole. And I was just like, yes! Woohoo! Jerry beat the living shit out of Michael Cole. Smash him. Just beat him. And then we have Brodus Clay versus who? Drew McIntyre. WWE. I plead with you, give Drew McIntyre a push. Don't put him in these stupid, stupid, stupid squash matches against Bros Clay or anyone, or even Ryback. Don't even put him against Ryback. He needs a push. This guy is like the next CM Punk, if you look at it. He can do anything for your company. I'm not, I, I'm, he's taking it in, in himself, that... He could have got released ages ago, but he's thinking, oh, I'm going to get a push from WWE, and then I can get to the top level where I should belong. So, um, then we have a back... Oh, by the way, that match between Broskai and uh, Drew McIntyre ran a 1 out of 5 stars match, and Broskai wins, obviously. And then we have Santino backstage, and he's still looking for the anonymous general manager, and Carly's there, and it's just... Oh, no, not Carly. Um, Jericho is there, and then... Santino runs away, and then Jericho is talking with Big Show, and they're just talking about Jericho Show maybe reforming, and I was like, yes, that was a great tag team between um, Chris Jericho and the Big Show, so it was a great, um, it, that was a great segment between these two guys, and they're just bringing back some memories, so it was great um, looking at that. Then we have, I think it was a match, no, no, John Cena cutting a promo, about how he's going to be, uh, be the Money in the Bank winner. 
on Sunday or Monday for the Australians. And, um, yeah, he's just talking about that. And it was boring, but it was okay. And then we have a match between Big Show and Chris Jericho versus uh, Kane and John Cena. Uh, it ended in a disqualification, which I didn't like, but it's okay. Um, yeah, so it ended in a disqualification. And, um, yeah, so... Uh, and then at the end of the match, um, all four men got ladders and started destroying each other. And John Cena's standing tall with a massive ladder. He's just like, approve, like with a massive ladder on his shoulders. And then we have um, CM Punk backstage talking with who? My girlfriend. CM Punk, you're going to die, mate. You're going to die. It's going to get you a gun and just go, just kill you. Nah, I'm only kidding, CM Punk. Um, uh, it's okay, you talk to my girlfriend, so it's alright, um, but, yeah, and then, he's just, Sam, uh, Eve's just giving some nice talk to CM Punk, he's just like, uh, have a gr uh, great match tonight, and I wish you luck on Sunday, and Eve's just being Eve, so it's beautiful, um, <laughs> then we have a Money in the Bank qualifying match between Sin Cara and the one man band, baby, and then we have, um, so Sin Cara wins, and I'm not happy with Sin Cara. I need Sin Cara to be released. WWE, release Sin Cara right now. If he does not impress me, release him. Get him to do new moves. He just does the same moves all over, 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 and over. And, and take that stupid lighting off as well. Seriously, take that stupid lighting off. And then we have um, Heath Slater on the mic, and he's angry that um, he lost this match. And then... Some legend comes out, Bob Blackland or something, and he hits some move or something like that. Then we have Michael Cole versus Jerry Lawler. Jerry Lawler beat the living daylights out of Michael Cole. I was happy. And then, and then, um, uh, then we have uh, the anonymous general manager. Um, what do you call it? He's reversed the decision. And Michael Cole wins, and I was like, what the hell? Like seriously, no. And then, um. What do you call it? Uh, then uh, Santino comes out and he, he's like, he's looked everywhere backstage, but he still can't find the anonymous general manager. And he says that he's going to he's, he's, uh he's forgot and he, he looks under the ring and the anonymous general manager p gets his f foot and stuff and he's like, gets Santino and he's like dragging. And then Jerry Lawler starts to help um, Santino and then um, Hornswag was the general manager. Like, seriously. WWE, you couldn't think of anything else. And the thing I don't get, he couldn't be talk. He could not talk, like since last year. How did he become GM two years ago? I don't get it. But it's WWE, and they're being a pain in the bum. But um, yeah. And um, we f the funny thing was that uh, he kicks J Jerry the King Lawler, and then he uh, bites Santino's ass. But then the funny thing came. Was when Cole and uh, Hornswoggle started celebrating, and then bloody Hornswoggle kicks Michael Cole. I was like, <laughs> "Suck it, Michael Cole!" And then we have the uh, the main event, which was Daniel Bryan and Eve versus CM Punk and AJ. CM Punk and AJ win. It was a great tag uh, tag team main event match. It was excellent uh, from start to finish, and um, uh, Eve is really impressing me. She's got some new moves in her arsenal. Same with Daniel Bryan. So, uh, this is Raw for this week. Smash the like button if you liked Raw this week. Comment your thoughts on Raw. Subscribe up there if you haven't already. And um, I rate fully Raw this week a 6 out of 10 or 7 out of 10. It was a pretty good show. And they're uh, hyping up Money in the Bank really well. Um, because it's one of their good pay-per-views. So yeah, uh, peace out everybody.